Would you like to tell them who you are? Yeah. This is Monty Bubbles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. And although you're not quite ready for a doggy show, and show people a little bit of what it's like. That's right. Yes, that ragamuffin that people see walking into our shots is a show dog. You can see she does, the, you look at the, the legs on her, how much difference it is between the day and the, maybe we'll try to see if I can put a picture in picture. You can see the difference. I spent a little bit of time. She's had a bath and she's had some grooming. There's still a lot more to be done, but you can get an idea, especially if you take a look at the two different shots. You have to understand that Monty is not necessarily the best example of what I know <laughs> of what they're looking for in the show dogs here, because she's she's large. She she's she's uh, right around the size of a male. And they would rather, on the West Coast, have a smaller dog. Girl. Oh, look at that. And they like dogs with happy tails. Let's tell Mommy happy tails. Let's see. That's a pretty decent... Zach, come on. Come, come forward just a little bit more. Let's see your stack. Come yeah. That's right. Stack. For, there you go. But now we're going to get her out. It's a... have to understand, this is not a show ring. This is uh, the... This is the... the Monty's yard, so it tends to be a little bit wet. I know. No. But they have a, a line underneath the tummy, which basically has got to be at an angle that is just about a little bit more than what it is at the moment. Yeah, but, I haven't trimmed it down but you don't want to do that until it's right before showtime because you, you worry about making an air. And it has taken three years for Monty to get her color in and her fur. Well, and the haircut, of course, changes by breed. Yep. And you also change it. It goes way. on. Uh, she doesn't need a doggy treat. Monty will do this because she's on camera. Come on, Monty. I need a camera. Come on, come on, Monty. Okay, so normally I'm going to come on this side. Okay. She's got to get on the right side of the, of the dog. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to be more mobile than we would usually because, I know, but I was on the, because this set up, because there's an awful lot of sun on this side. Okay, she's not in a, you know, the stack could be better, but see, she's getting ready for the next show. And this is what you got to go through to get the show dog ready. Practice. Okay. Yeah, you can do better. There's a better job. That's better. Okay. Now we're going to do a. She's going to do it. Take go in a square from right here for everybody to see the doggy square. Ready? You see, she she hopped. Hopping is something that gets you into trouble in the show ring. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Come on. And so what she's going to do is to do it again and see if she can do it without hopping for everybody. Now she stops. We're going to put her in the stack so the judge, which I will play, can come over and check on her. Which is mostly, they, they want to check the teeth. So they open, oh, man, she's got a really good set of teeth on her, folks. They want to make certain the teeth are all aligned. Check underneath. You see, this is when she moves, that's a no-no. See, that gets her, basically she doesn't win when she does that. Checking for the structure. Trying to see if she is fat. Checking the coat. And then you walk back around. Here you hear it when you want her, the judge is trying to get her to move. So sometimes they'll do this. See, she's doing what she's supposed to do. When I reach down like this, 
See, now she's doing it right. Doggy should never lift her leg up. Okay. Next, she's got to do the diagonal as soon as okay. I reset. We've just done the square. Now we're going to go in a diagonal and come back. And she should, when I put my hand up, I'm the judge telling her exactly where to stop. And then she'll be, she'll be put into the stack. And the judge then walks around her. And a lot of people will fudge on this. I'll show you the fudging that a lot of people will do. And see, what they've done is they've wrapped this around their finger and they can sit there and hold the dog or I can sit there and show you. I can hold her in this position. But the judge knows that she's being held in it. She's not doing it by herself. And that uh, a, a real good handler will sit there and do this. So this is a no-no. They want the dog basically to do this, you know, like this. Because we've seen handlers get into trouble when they get caught doing it.